else, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah? Yeah, very relaxed. Mm -hmm. It's really nice out here. It's beautiful. It is beautiful compared to Visalia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For beautiful sure. In, uh, beautiful in Brazil, too, though. Yeah, beautiful in Brazil, but very humid in yeah. Brazil. Very. You like that. I don't know. <laughs> you liked it when you when you pulled off what you pulled off down there. I definitely did like that, yeah, for sure. Talk to us a little bit about that and being able to, you know, go into hostile territory and do something that not a lot of people can do, uh, especially the way you did it. You know, it was it was a good experience. Um, the Brazilians were absolutely wonderful. They were completely nice, completely welcoming. Um, but the, the thing about it was when I got in the cage and Bruce was announcing, I don't know if I have said this, but... When they announced her name, it was like an earthquake in the cage. I swear that I just thought the cage was going to crumble in on us. I was like, wow, they really want me to lose. And I think at the moment when she tapped, it was silence. And it was just like, wow, I did that. <laughs> it was kind of it was kind of cool. Kind of like one of those feelings you're never going to forget, right? What, never. What like. I will never forget the feeling of the crowd loud and the crowd absolutely quiet. Mm -hmm. It's kind of eerie. Talk to us a little bit about you know facing someone with a very good ground game and being able to do what you did to her on the ground, mm -hmm. and now going against somebody who's who's known for something completely opposite. Of that. Well, the thing is, when you get into mixed martial arts, you have to expect that you're going to not only get a ground person, you're going to get a wrestler, mm -hmm. you're going to get a stand-up person. So you have to be prepared for everything, and that's what my camp and I have done a good job at doing is preparing myself for any part of the game, no matter if it's standing. If I can't get it to the ground, just keep it standing. If I am on the ground, be prepared for bad positions, good positions, whatever. How much of a factor does it play when you hear everyone cheering for someone and then when you're coming out, it's not as loud? Does that actually, do you think, I'm going to prove you all wrong or what goes through your head then? Well, I just think, you know, they're cheering for her and all the cheers that they're cheering for her, my friends, my family back home are doing that times 10. Okay. So I don't really think too much of it. You know, at that moment um, in Brazil, I did just because it was right there in your face and then as soon as... They said, let's go. It was out of my head. You know, what's it like to, to you know, she, she's the favorite. She's, uh, she's highly touted. This is a huge she's win She's another for you to do it. female in the octagon in a different arena. Nothing else changes. She's just another female. Maybe you saw her on, on, on her first fight on UFC. I think she was kind of nervous, maybe, of everything, what's, what's happening all around. Do you think it's going to be a factor again for her in favor of you? No, I don't think so at all. And I do, I do agree with you. I do think she was probably a little bit nervous, but who's not going to be nervous going out the first time? Remember the first time fighting for the UFC and, you know, you know, Bert's in the background screaming and yelling and then you got everything going on. So, you know, you are nervous and then she had to step it up because she was automatically the co-main event. So, you know, I don't hold that against her. In fact, that's to be expected. Um, I don't know if she's going to be nervous now, but I don't anticipate what she's going to be. I anticipate and focus on what I'm going to be. Exactly. Can you tell us what is she not expecting from you? Um, <laughs> we are not, we are not going to tell her. We are not going to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Liar! <laughs> um, I, I don't know what she's expecting. I don't know what she thinks of me. You know, I haven't heard any interviews. Um, I just think she's going to expect an all-out war. You know, she's, she's not going in there expecting someone who's just going to just be an easy person to climb over. I think she's expecting a tough match. What about the Bruce? You like that? It's cool. It looks cool. I live up to my name. I'm the bruiser. <laughs> <laughs> that was something from your training? Of course. Okay. Yeah, of course, not my husband. <laughs> Even though when we do go out to like the grocery store, everybody looks at him like, "Did you do that to her?" <laughs> Got to play it off. Fell down the stairs. No, go ahead. Oh, I just said she fell down the uh, stairs. Have you ever been to San Diego? I, yeah, I have been to San Diego. Um, you know, just to visit. I love this area. In fact, I was just telling um, one of my friends, I want to retire here <laughs> long, long ago. I want to retire somewhere near the beach, somewhere near something like San Diego. I went to Long Beach State, so I know it's always beautiful weather, um, and that's where I want to live and die. How does the new uh, Reebok. Reebok thing going for you? Um, it's going good, as well as to be expected. Um, I think there was a couple of glitches, and, and it only because, you know, they measured me eight weeks ago, 
me eight weeks ago is not the same me now. <laughs> I think I lost half of me, so um, they had to redo some of the measurements and tighten up some stuff. So other than that, it's going okay. Any thoughts about that, Robbie Lawler and McGregor and um, and uh, <laughs> well, the main event of uh, 189. Those, those were tough fights, both and surprise surprises all around. What do you think? About that? Mm, I don't really have too many thoughts on it. I'm not. I, I know there are so many fights going on right now, and I'm trying not to watch all of them. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of focusing on just the fight that I have at hand. But I did see a couple of them. And they're pretty, pretty gnarly. Mary and I apologize. This has been asked. I jumped a little bit late, but uh, this fight and the two coming up are key fights in the women's division. Where do you feel like this fight puts you? And what are your thoughts on Tate I and obviously Ronda? And Betch, because it seems like those three fights are going to basically determine the next, you know, title run for everybody. Yeah, everybody's been asking that question. I know you're the first one to ask me that right now. Um, and my my objective is to focus on this fight first, and then for me to think about the fight afterwards and what they want to do, because it's already been said that they want Misha, um, the winner of Misha and I, to fight the winner of Betch and Ronda. We don't know what's going to happen from here until that point. So I'm not going to project or assume that it's going to go one way versus another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on my fight, keep it that way, and then see how it pans out. You mentioned Long Beach State. You got your degree there. Could you have imagined all those years ago when you got your degree you would be here? No. No. And in fact, um, my coach from Long Beach State, because I was a heptathlete there. Um, he was like, oh my god, you're a fighter now? I thought you wanted to be an athletic trainer. Eh, it's kind of the same. It's different. <laughs> Not, <laughs> but it works. <laughs>